Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars. This is the 1075% difficulty playthrough, with no rivals, I might add, which actually makes it even more difficult. Now, we got the Mohole Mine up and running here. And that's, um, that's actually quite significant, because it means now we're going to have, uh, basically, a large supply of uh, rare metals. Now, uh, something else that I want to get up and running here, ultimately, is uh, the space elevator. But, I no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to um, go in here. Go in here and look under... Uh... Okay, wonders. Uh, yeah, we need a lot more resources to build the Omega Telescope. Although the Omega Telescope is a, is a nice wonder. Uh, so if we go and we look in the science here. Space elevators over here. Um, and uh, after mega satellites, I think I'll, uh, I'll, I'll squeeze that in there. Uh, and then, uh, then we should be good there. Uh, and then we... Uh, maybe you want to go for... Uh, Maybe we want to go for Project Morpheus. I'm not sure. Um, and then there's uh, some uh, uh, breakthroughs here that we could uh, clean up. A few other things. Uh, you know, so there, there's that. Uh, but what we're going to do is uh, up the tempo on the uh, clock here. Uh, we want to get through the cold wave. Um, and that's, uh, there's that. But something I want to do, now that I've just noticed a meteor there, I want to go over here, and I want to... Uh, I want to add... Um, another one of these over here. Um... Uh, is that will uh, get us a little bit more coverage and we're less likely to lose our infrastructure over there to a uh, meteor, right? And we had a Mars quake. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, that, uh, oh, close. Uh, we completed capture ice asteroids, okay. We had a death in the colony, a renegade, right, and that is fine. Uh, as, uh, someone who has slogged through all 384 previous souls of this, uh, game... Uh, will be aware uh, the uh, the gimmick I've been uh, uh, running on to deal with uh, renegades has been to uh, starve them out uh, and by doing that I have I haven't had to spend resources repairing sabotage on the critical factories and that's been uh, a somewhat important uh, situation um, what's this Oh, that's a Cure Tato's, uh rocket. Yeah, we'll do that. Because uh, we have fuel there. And we have some Cure Tato's. So, yeah. Um, by uh, doing the, uh, the exports of the Cure, we get a little bit of uh, funding from it. Uh, which is fine. Um, right. Okay. Uh, four more hours in the cold wave, uh, which will, uh, um, this was a renegade. Yep. Uh, which will, of course, get, um, a few more, uh, uh, bits of demand sorted out. Okay, yep.
Okay, so we're up to, uh, we're, well, we're, we're uh, uh, doing the atmosphere thing, so that's good. Uh, you go away. Uh, so this is the goal here is uh, uh, when we get the, uh, when we terraform to the point where we can open the domes. That's what I'm going to call the game, because once we can open the domes, uh, we can clean up the uh, moxies. We won't need them. Uh, we can clean up our oxygen storage tanks. Um, you know, basically, we'll have food shortage. Food shortage where? Over here. Um, we have... Right... Cure exported to Earth. Okay. Uh, right. Well, uh, okay, so now let's take a look here. Our uh, waste rock, we're consuming 46 and we're uh, producing 103. Uh, so what I, what I think I should probably do is uh, consume some more of it. Um, right. Uh, where is it? Uh, it was over here, wasn't it? If we stick up another carbonate processor, say, here, uh, that'll use up a little bit more waste rock, and, uh, it will also, um, uh, you know, improve the atmosphere a little bit faster. Uh, also, uh, we have in here uh, a... Uh, I think we have it. Uh, waste rock processor. Yeah. We can put up... I don't know. We can put one of those up. Say over here. And we could put another one of those up. I don't know. Say over, over here. Yeah, we'll stick one here. Okay. So those, they're going to produce concrete, right? And that's, uh, that's something that uh, we might as well, uh, you know, produce a bunch of. Uh, and if we can uh, drill down our uh, waste rock accumulation, right, uh, we can uh, we can reduce uh, a substantial amount of uh, um, wasted space for uh, depots for that stuff. Right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we will amplify them as well, but we'll wait until this one here is done. Yeah. Okay, so we'll build the uh, amplify on there. Now, what does that say? Uh, yeah, so we only need a, it's only building a couple of them, so that's okay. Uh, we need more people. That's uh, uh, right, because we got lots of seniors, and that's uh, that's a little bit of a problem. Um, right. Well. Uh, over here, uh, do we have births are allowed? Over here, births are allowed, and over here, births are allowed. Okay, so we got plenty of uh, potential colonists there. Um, right. Okay. So, so, and we're uh, accumulating rare metals, which we can export now. Uh, low resource concrete. Huh. Uh, we are producing concrete. Uh, what's using it? Uh, in construction sites, 200. Ah. Uh, ah. Okay, I see. Well, we're producing concrete at a decent rate. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. It was uh, this thing that did it, right? Anyway, that should be uh, beefing up the atmosphere faster, so that uh, that's good. 
Um, right. We have an Earth sick colonist. Uh, we have Earthlings. Uh, Earthborn. Nine. Okay. We still have Earthborn. Uh, right. Uh, that was from our refugees uh, during uh, the uh, wildfire uh, pandemic mystery thing. Right. Okay. Now, how is this thing doing? Yeah, it's doing fine. Um, now, uh, what can we uh, do with... Uh, well, we're producing 109 metals. Um, these guys are full, right? We have lots of uh, jobs available, so we definitely need... Uh, uh, We need more uh, colonists, right? Uh, right. Renegade. Um, right. And we have eight here. Starving colonists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of them are in there. Okay. That is fine. Now. Uh, where are we at here? 70% uh, of mega satellites. Okay. We're at 15% water on the uh, ground. Uh, which means our vaporators are doing uh, better. Um, we just had a thing hit here. Uh, which is fine. Uh, okay. How's this doing? Uh, 73 left in our uh, deposit there. Uh, we will, of course, um, uh, run it out and then we will just remove the extractor because we just won't need it anymore, right? And you are a renegade. Yep. Uh, yeah, we won't need it anymore. Uh, obviously, uh, not even with nano extraction because of the mohole mine, uh, and we're we're accumulating uh, a lot of uh, rare metals. Uh, ah, uh, the water chip has been repaired. Uh, good. Uh, well, that's uh, useful. Uh, Okay. Well, that's uh, that's good. Uh, you were a renegade, right? Okay. We can go over here. Uh, we could, uh, launch a SETI satellite, but we won't. Uh, we could, uh, capture meteors. Um. No, we won't. Uh, we have lots of polymers. Uh, we're, we're producing machine parts at a pretty good clip. Um. And that's, uh, that's useful. Uh, right. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is uh, turn on exports. Right. And then I'll just run this rocket on autopilot so that it uh, exports uh, rare metals. Since we're producing them at a rate where we might as well export them, uh, we just we just don't need uh, need to uh, uh, need to stockpile them at that kind of a rate, right? So we might as well uh, export them, get more uh, uh, you know get more of our uh, uh, income going, 
where we can, uh, you know, do our thing. Uh, right. Uh, we'll automate that rocket. Okay. Now, uh, I think I can probably also allow exports and automate that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, then our, our rockets are actually doing something, right? Um, good. Because the mohole is just going to produce stuff, right? And uh, it's going to keep producing stuff at a uh, fairly substantial rate. Now, something I'm going to, I think, need to do is uh, come up with uh, uh, more storage for uh, stuff. Polymers, in fact. Okay, so we can go in here. Uh, we'll go in a depot. We'll put a polymer depot. Um, we'll put it here. Uh, right, so that gives us more storage. Uh, let's stockpile polymers over here. Yeah, we'll stockpile the polymers over there. Uh, we've got a fair chunk of them, so... Uh, we might as well do that. Yeah. Um, whoops. No. Don't do that. Uh, we're also going to... These are all set for stockpile. Except that one. Uh, these are not set to stockpile. Uh, why am I doing this? So that they'll actually fill these ones up. Uh, I'm going to end up building a storage depot area uh, somewhere else. Uh, probably using the uh, bigger storage things. Uh, why? Uh, well, they're slow, but they store boatloads, and they can be good as a uh, a store if you got a whole bunch of these things, these uh, regular depots, which are fast to access. Uh, you can uh, you can store uh, you know a fair bit in them, but they take up a lot of space. And again, space isn't an issue here, is it? I could come up here, and they don't need power, so I could come up, say, over here, and set up a uh, storage uh, area or something, right? Uh, now here, we're using more waste rock than we're producing now, so we're drawing down our waste rock supplies. Now, that's perfectly fine. Now, we've got two ro rockets heading for Earth now, and that's uh, that should be entertaining. Uh, we'll have a billion or so. Uh, uh, oh, we got another uh, wildfire um, export coming. Um, let's, uh, let's go over here, and we'll uh, force these ones to stockpile over here. Yeah. Uh, so that the... Uh, they don't just store over here, right? Yeah. Because the whole point of this is to reduce the drain on uh, drone power, right? Um, yeah, that's the whole point of that, right? Uh, so now we've definitely got enough here to completely fill uh, the uh, rocket, right? So, you know, we've got that. Now, we're uh, actually uh, producing fuel at a pretty good rate as well. Uh, we got a meteor storm in uh, in three souls, so, you know, there's that. That should be fun. Uh, yeah, fun. 
that's uh, that's a good word for it. Uh, what have we got left here? 65. Yeah. So we're notice we're up to 126 of these things again. Uh, now uh, our uh, population is uh, dropping, and uh, that has me a little bit uh, concerned. Uh, so uh, here we got the hanging garden. Uh, what's the uh, comfort in the uh, uh, 72? Okay, that's good. Uh, what's the comfort in here? Uh, 46. That's not high enough. Okay. Uh, shopping. Okay. I need to build services over here. Okay. I can do that. Uh, right. Okay. So we go in here. Uh, poems, education, services. So we're going to build a uh, diner. Yeah. And we're going to come over here and we're going to build a uh, infirmary. Yeah. And we're going to come over here and we're going to build... What are we going to build? Um... What have we got over here? We have a infirmary, um, a diner, and a grocer. Okay, so we'll go in here and we'll build a grocer. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that should help there, and we should build the same over here. Yeah, we should. Okay, so we'll build a infirmary. Um, somewhere. Uh, over here. Yeah. Yeah. Here, and we'll uh, build a uh, diner here. And we'll uh, build a grocer here. Okay, so we'll build those. And then we'll open those and make them high priority. Uh-huh. Uh, we have exported some uh, rare metals. Uh, okay. And then we'll come in here, and we will make this a high priority, and this you can do that, and be open, you can do that, and be open. Okay, so I think perhaps uh, that will help the... Uh, the average um, uh, comfort in these domes and possibly this one as well. Uh, we have lots of polymer production though. We have a great dust storm coming. We have lots of polymer production. I could... we could put up an art store. Um, say no, we want a small art store. Uh, small art store. We can stick one of them here. Um, we could... Uh, we could even stick one in here. Um, yeah, we can uh, do art stores. Uh, we can capture ice asteroids again. Um, right. Uh, so we're gonna, going to uh, obviously land the uh, export rocket here for the uh, cure Tato things. Uh, the wildfire cure. Uh, metals extractor is not working. That's fine. It doesn't need to work. We have this thing here that doesn't need uh, manpower. Uh, right. So we can actually go up here, 
and uh, we can put that down at the lowest priority. Same with this one. Yeah, we can do that. So we got two billion in funding now. We're okay. What I'm gonna do? We're gonna go in here and we're gonna outsource like this. Okay. So we're just gonna speed through a bit more uh, uh, funding, right? Uh, okay, so, uh, right. Now, you, what's your comfort? 59, it's going up. Playing. Uh, uh, service buildings were not provided with resource. Ah. Uh, well, anyway. Um, and you? Comfort, 71. Uh, children will be born. Uh, children will be born. Okay. Uh, I think we have more children being born now. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so that's uh, that's good. Uh, so we can let that uh, tick along. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so uh, we've we've dropped quite a few in seniors here, and that's uh, that's important. Um, oh, we exported more cure to Earth. There we go. Uh, right. These guys are not going to arrive before the dust storm. I don't think. So, there's that. Um, right. So, uh, so how are we doing here? Uh, okay, we're... Uh, yeah, we got lots more children coming up now. Uh, okay, good. Um, that's absolutely uh, critical. We need to... Uh, we needed to... Uh, oh... We're apparently having our uh, uh, meteors coming in over top of the uh, colony. Um, so it occurs to me that I might perhaps want to put one of these over here. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, right. Yeah, so you definitely want the uh, the lasers uh, when you can uh, when you can make them. Yeah, you definitely want the lasers because uh, if you don't have them, a whole bunch of stuff can get completely destroyed, right? Uh, if you get meteors, like, this meteor storm would have completely uh, clobbered the, uh, the colony, right? Uh, uh, without them. Okay, mega satellites. We have mega satellites, so we can launch a magnetic shield. Um, what we're going to do, uh, actually, is we're going to build a... Uh, uh, landing pad and we're going to stick it um, where are we gonna stick it stick it here yeah so we'll build one of those and we're gonna build another rocket so I'm pretty sure we have the resources we can build a rocket um, yeah, pretty sure we have the resources to build a rocket. Yeah, okay, now, yeah, we're good. Now we can go ahead and uh, go in. We don't have the re research. Okay, advanced rocketry. Whoops, we're going to go in here. 
Uh, where's advanced rocketry? Um, that'd be, is that engineering or robotics? Um, advanced rocketry. Drop that in the front there. Yep. Okay, we're good there. Uh, we'll uh, rock through advanced rocketry in a few sols. Uh, and then we'll be able to build a, another rocket, and then uh, we can leave our um, oh, one of our rockets made it before the dust storm. Uh, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, now it's not going to be able to take off before the dust storm, almost certainly. Uh, it's not going to be loaded before then. Um, but that's fine. Uh, the question is, how long is the dust storm going to last? Um, that 34 children. Oi, yeah. Uh, okay. How many do these nurseries hold? Eight. I need a couple more nurseries, I think. Uh, okay, so we're going to build here nurseries. We'll put a nursery here to uh, right okay now we've got here uh, we got lots of power uh, be how long is the dust storm three souls uh, okay so the question is how long do our uh, our uh, resources uh, last. We're going to turn off the fuel refineries. That'll let our water uh, uh, last a, a little bit longer. Um, yeah. And uh, where's the, uh, the polymer operation? Polymer factory. If we turn off the polymer factory also. Yeah, okay. That uses a lot less water and it's not going to use up fuel. Hmm. Well, uh, uh, I don't see any reason why we don't have enough water. So, you know, I'm just going to turn everything back on again. Right. Well, we're definitely... Yeah, the, the rocket didn't make it off in time. Uh, what, what was I on about now? Um, I was on about something. Uh, right, it was... Uh, I don't remember what it was now. Uh, okay, uh, right. Uh, oh, we're at 30% temperature, 20% uh, atmosphere already. Uh, when we get to 50% atmosphere, dust storms stop, if I recall. Uh, and 50% temperature, uh, cold waves stop. And I think we need 93% atmosphere and 50% uh, uh, temperature to, uh, to, get, uh, uh, to get the full... Uh, why does it say... What? Why is it... What? The, what? The, hey? How is that low? I, I don't get... 46 children. Uh, okay. Uh, vacant nursery slot, 7. Yeah. 46 children. Uh, yeah, we've definitely uh, fixed our population issue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just getting the domes a little bit more uh, comfortable. Yeah, 
uh, that will uh, that will definitely uh, fix the problem uh, when the uh, senior wave comes for the uh, <laughs> when the uh, middle-aged people are uh, out of the uh, workforce, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, do we still have? We're down to two Earthborn. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we don't need Earthborn. We have lots of Martians. Uh, right. Well, uh, under two Sols left on that, uh, that, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Storm. Right, um, okay, so I think what we want to do, personal space, uh, Colonus has snapped, uh, you arrived. Da, 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 da. All residences grant more comfort, but provide less living space. No, let's not do that. Let's do this one. Uh, we can afford to lose a bit of comfort. Uh, we uh, we got uh, we've got fifty children uh, uh, coming up the queue here. So uh, now is this? Yeah, we're but we're only burning what Oh, we're burning quite a few for maintenance, I bet, on the on these. Yeah, probably. Uh probably this too. Um But uh we're producing them at a pretty good clip. Uh so uh, we should certainly be able to uh, to last out another sol of uh, dust storm. Uh, thing about the great dust storms is, you know, like you might think that you know just chucking up tribal electric scrubbers would uh, would solve it. You know, make sure the scrubbers are in each other's range. But no, uh, the great dust storm, uh, the scrubbers don't. Uh, uh, they don't. Uh, sort themselves out uh it doesn't totally erase maintenance um let's uh let's build a bunch of drone prefabs we're building them out of metals so we've got lots of them so let's get us a big stack of drones let these guys in here do something yeah so we'll get a queue of those stacked up. We have advanced rocketry. Now let's uh, let's go in here. We want the space elevator. Uh, we have the resources to build the space elevator. So let's chuck that up to the front of the queue. Okay. Uh, we'll also uh, go over here, uh, and we'll go in here, and we'll build a rocket which needs. Uh, what does it need? 25, 50, and 150. Yeah, we have that. So we can let the, we can uh, build a rocket for sure. Um, right, and dust storm's done in less than the sol, uh, so we'll be good. Now, if we look in here, we've got lots of water stored. We've got lots of O2 stored, so uh, so that's not going to be a problem. Now, once we get the uh, once the dust storms are done. Uh, we don't need underground water production anymore, uh, really. And that's, uh, that's going to be, uh, uh, somewhat, uh, uh, significant. Uh, uh, now, we're down under a hundred of these, but that's because we're sucking them up in a construction site, right? Uh, and that's, uh, really, that's, uh, that's why. But we've got 55 children there. Uh, and uh, they're going to start f uh, f uh, filling up to youth uh, uh, soon. And as they do, our workforce will replenish and this uh, open jobs thing will no longer be an issue. Uh, that uh, uh, It's a good thing that I paid attention to that and uh, you know actually did something about it, right? Uh, is if I hadn't, uh, now, how's this doing? Uh, dome is comfortable enough. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if I hadn't done that, uh, we would have ended up in uh, a little bit of a fix. We would have been back down to rebuilding the population slowly. Uh, right? And uh, that would have been, uh, well, it wouldn't necessarily have been the end of the colony. Because we do have uh, the resources to uh, get things uh, mostly uh, functional, right? Okay, now that the dust storm's done, the shuttles can do their thing. And... Uh, the rockets can do their thing, and this is a uh, uh, wildfire cure export rocket, so we'll let that land. Um, okay, now everything has just uh, cranked up to 11 and started going. Uh, this rocket will, once the metals are all in, it will get built, and then I'll set it up to capture ice asteroids again, right? Uh, probably ice asteroids, anyway. Uh, right. Uh, now, we're producing polymers, 16 polymers, and we're using six or so. Yeah, so that's, that's not, uh, that's not so bad. Um... Did I, uh, build atomic the atomic batteries what? did I have atomic batteries oh yeah I do yeah I do have the uh, atomic batteries right okay uh, right so we've got uh, we got them storing up power right that's that's good uh, and how are we? we have 24,000 stored power. Ah, yeah, so that's good. Uh, right, now we're uh, producing 28 of these per sol, so we're, we're doing okay there. Uh, okay. Rocket is done. Okay, you can turn off exports. And then we're going to go up here. Uh, is there... Yeah, there's a capture... I could do space mirror. What's this one? Magnetic shield. Space mirror will uh, heat things up. Um, I'm going to grab the uh, ice asteroids, though. Send expedition. Ready. Send. Is it? Wait. Oh. Oh, this one was the one that, uh, oh, wait. Uh, I might as well launch a, uh, well, this will increase the temperature by, ooh, 10%. And it only needs 50, oh, well, we're going to send that expedition. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, that's because this is uh, growing at 0.1% per sol, right? And, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, we got... Uh, and we got some more uh, funding from the uh, uh, export, uh, right? Uh, okay, so we're going to... Uh, we're doing our... Uh, uh, projects there. Uh, we need to uh, build up some resources again before we uh, we do anything uh, further uh, with the uh, projects, but we can certainly do that. Well, let's check in on the population. So now we're up to 29 youth, and we still have 59 children, right? 60 children, right? So uh, we're... Uh, and we got 108 middle age, so they're going to be cycling out of the uh, the workforce. And uh, it looks like we have enough coming up from below, uh, young youngins, to uh, replace them. Now we're down to one Earthborn as well. Ah, we can now get toxic rains. Uh, right. 
uh, and that's because of the uh, temperature and the water. Uh, oh yes, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got a rocket taking off. Uh, right. This one will be taking off shortly. Uh, yeah, shortly. Right. There it goes. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got stuff uh, uh, going here. Uh, like stuff is actually happening at this point because we have enough production of stuff to actually do stuff. Oh, we have production of stuff to do stuff. Right, yeah, good. Um, right, so we're producing a stack of machine parts that we... Okay, yeah, so uh, I think, and I'm not completely sure on this, but I think uh, there will be uh, three more parts on this, I think probably before we get uh, before we can open the domes um, so I think this will make it through to the end of 2020 uh, for sure uh, there might be a couple more episodes into 2021 uh, after which uh, this uh, this playthrough uh, will be uh, done uh, to the point uh, that I'm going to take it um, is after you can open the domes, there really isn't much more you can do. Like you, you can get vegetation going on Mars, uh, and you can terraform that all the way, you know, and, the, and all of that. But uh, it gets really tedious. Uh, okay, good. We've got a space mirror. Uh, okay, and we have forty percent temperature now. Um, right, uh, so we have 40% temperature, uh, we got, we're going up 1.2% per sol, uh, we need to get to 93% for, uh, here, so that's good, we need, we've got probably 70 plus sols here, uh, before that gets all the way up. Um, probably want to put up a magnetic shield too at some point. Um, building's not working. What's not working? Research lab. Mohole mine. Storage space full. Ah. Okay. Uh... that rare metals okay we'll do that but what's it full of uh, well it's not full anymore okay uh, right so it looks like what I should do while I have noticed it is we're going to depot and we'll uh, do uh, a few more of those. Uh, do this. Uh, do this. Do this. And do this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what's, uh, what's doing here? Uh, orbital engineering. Uh, okay. Can we... We can outsource again uh so i think maybe okay so the space elevator needs 200 metal 150 polymer and 400 concrete 150 machine parts okay uh okay so i think we're uh, basically uh by the time we get the research done, yeah we should be able to build the space elevator next time around uh which will be uh, definitely a uh, a uh, a thing to do uh, right. What's this? this is doing capture ice asteroids, right? 
Uh, once we get the water up to like 20 or 25 percent, I think we can start planting trees. Um, well, once we get the space elevator up, we can get the seeds we need to do that. Because I don't think... Yeah, we don't have any seeds. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I'm going to uh, put the cut here. Uh, uh, as I, uh, I expect... Uh, yeah, we'll be... Probably the space elevator will be started next time. And, uh, yeah. So we're, we're making progress, at least. So anyway, I'm putting the, the cut here. And, uh, yeah, so uh, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And see you back next time.